Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Karen Fomafong, your Agile Evangelist. So today, I'm going to show us how to set up web limits in Jira. That is how to set up work in progress limits in Jira. Just in case you are not very familiar with what work in progress limits are, work in progress limits are one of the many um, agile metrics, or I would say metrics in Jira that has been put in place to help us um, to be able to focus on one thing at a time until we are able to achieve quality. You see, that means we want to reduce the tendency of starting so many work items or working on so many different things at a time, which will increase our chances of context switching and it would definitely affect the quality of our work. Because think about it, if you are trying to work, do so many different things at a time, it will affect your ability to focus. And as a result of that, your quality will be at risk. So, um, one of the challenges that we face on the ground as agile practitioners is we you will find developers, you know, working on so many different user stories at a time. And then they will almost be done. So at the end of the sprint, you realize that the work in progress is 99.999, but nothing. Like if you check on the done column, there will be nothing. So they end up working on so many different things at the time and then they are not able to complete any. And you know that to say an increment is we've achieved the done increment is to say that it is 100% complete, you see. So rather than having four features that are almost done and then at the end of the sprint, we have nothing to show for because nothing is done. All of them are like 99.999% complete. Why don't we only focus on one item at a time? Work on them until we complete them before we on the next item. So to be able to achieve that, we have this thing we call the WIP limit, which is work in progress limit. We want to set limits, you know, so that if we are going above our limits, Jira, our board will flag. It will flag like red to warn us, like a warning sign that, oh, you're, you're beginning to go above your limits. So um, with that, you'll be able to take action. So it serves as an information radiator, you see, that will help us, you know, identify that, okay, there is, um, and we, are, we, we, are, we, are, we have a high risk of getting into an issue. So we need to make adjustments. So with that explanation, how do we establish work in progress on our JIRA board? You see, that will guide us to not have so many work items at a time. I just recently worked with a team and then we agreed that as a team, so that team has four developers, right? So we agreed that we do not want any developer having more than two work items open at a time. That means the max you can go two work items at a time, which means that if we have four developers, our whip limit will be eight, right? Because two per person, that will be eight at a time. So how do we do that? I'm going to show you two different ways on how to set up your whip limits on your board. Now, this is Jira, right? The first thing you want to do is you identify the project. In this case, this is a project I'm working on, Scrum Master Training Project. This is a project, as you can see here. The first approach is you go to your board, right? On the left-hand side, you see boards here. Click on your board, it will take you. So you have your backlog. So board is the same as print backlog, just in case you don't know. So if you go to your board, and then if you come to these columns, all these columns that we have listed here, you can set up your whip limits from there. So click on these three little dots. If you click on these three little dots, you see set column limits, right? Click on set column limits. Here, I do not want to set any, any limits in to do, right? I, do, I really don't want to set any limits in to do. 
because most of the time our main concern it really is the in progress we don't want to pick so many things at a time but i've also worked with the team where we were able to set limits in to do but let's not focus on that right now so i'm going to click on cancel so i'm going to click on this three dots here on the in progress column set limits in this case we i want to set our limits to be three right i want to set our limits to be three we only have um two developers on this team. So I will limit this three. No, three, right. Right, three, let me correct this. So I wanna set this as a three. So now that I've set uh, the maximum limit as a three, you can see it is already flagging right here because if you count here, we have four items open. One, two, three, four is the stories open. I mean, in progress. So it's already telling us that, okay, you're high risk. Let me take one away and see what happens. See, I pulled one out of the backlog, out of the in progress column. As you can see, it has been updated. Now it's no longer flagging. It's no longer warning us. You see, and I also want to set limits for in review column as maximum three. See, for the done column, we want to have as many done as possible, <laughs> right? So I'm not going to set anything for the done column. All right, so now we have, that's it, really. So that's really all it takes to set up your, your whip limits. So now let's try putting all the work items in, in progress, in review state, and let's see what happens. So now that our max is three, nothing is flagging. But if I pull this one and add here, you see it's flagging red. So now that's what I mean by it serves as an information radiator. You see, now that it's flagging red, it will call our attention that, oh, what's going on here? Okay, this thing is showing us red. And then we will now see, oh, we have we, we are at high risks. So we have so many items in review. We need to focus on reducing them as much as possible because we want to push items to the right as far as possible. So why don't we rather stop picking more work items or starting new stories and focus on finishing this once? and putting them into the done column, you see. So let's assume that this user story is done. Let's put it in done column. See, now it's it's gone back, the red has wiped out. Yeah, so that's the first way to set up your web limit. I'm going to show you the second approach of setting up your web limit. So for the second approach, if you come to project setting right here, right? And then you go to under board, you go to column and status. Right. And then from there, right here is you can also set up your web limit. So if you click on this little pencil here, and there you can set up a web limit. So in this case, let me just set it as two. And then in review, let me also set in review limit as two. And that's it. And once you're done setting up that, click save changes. All right. That's it, really. Let's go back to our board and see. We've now set it up as two. So let's go back to our sprint backlog and see. Yeah, now that we've set it as two, that's why it's flagging that, okay, you're already above your whip limit here, you see. So let's let's try to review all the items, at least one item here and see. So assuming that we've reviewed this user story, we put it into the backlog, into the done column. See, that's all. That's all, team. So um, I hope this video was helpful. So for those who are not familiar with what we do here, this is a safe place where we come together and learn everything agile. Uh, we share ideas, we share thoughts. No one is judging us. We continue to enhance our learning. And other than that, we also have a fantastic community where we offer beautiful training on agile if you want to become a scrum master if you want to become an agile coach if you want to become um a safe scrum master a product owner a release training engineer we offer all the trainings okay so if you visit our website www.beingagileconsulting.com just like the name of our of our um channel here it should take you to our website if you check the description box you should also see a link to go to our website check out our programs if you're already certified and you are in between you're in the market you're not sure how to go about it 
honey, you need mentorship. Visit us, our website, and learn about our mentorship programs for people that only have some certification and are trying to navigate the job market. And we'll show you, we will be happy to show you how it's done. If you are already thriving in your career and you're looking to even be better, our Agile Coaches Mentoring Program is best for you. So also, all of this information is on our website. You can also give us a call. If you want to send us an email and we will be more than happy to assist you. Okay. Thank you so much. Again, this is Karen for my phone, your humble agile evangelist and see you next time. Bye-bye.